that they're look, sexually no, no. corrupt. The Jews clearly control the media and the banks, right. investment banks, not the commercial ones. But the point is, they carry out in those realms the exact same principles that they display in sexuality. They undermine traditional life, and they deracinate society. Deracinate, tear out the roots. A real people derives its genius from the land, from the sun, from the sea, from the soil. You know, this is how they know themselves. But like Jews don't even have soil. He has Israel. Yeah. Those aren't Jews. Of course they're Jews. Notice the Israelis. It's a fundamentally secular society. They no longer need Judaism because they have soil. Because the real Jew is a wanderer. He's a nomad. He's got no roots and no attachments. So he universalizes everything. He can't hammer a nail or plow a field. All he can do is buy and sell and invest capital and manipulate markets and, you know, it's like all mental. He takes the life of a people that's rooted in soil and then he turns it into this cosmopolitan culture based on books and numbers and ideas and, you know, this is his strength. You can take the greatest Jewish minds ever. Marx, Freud, Einstein, what have they given us? Communism, infantile sexuality and the atom bomb. In the mere three centuries, it's taken these people to emerge from the ghettos of Europe. They've ripped us out of a world of order and reason. They've thrown us into a chaos of class warfare, irrational urges, relativity, into a world where now the very existence of matter and meaning is in question. Why? Because it's the deepest impulse of a Jewish soul to pull at the very fabric of life till there's nothing left but a thread. They want nothing but nothingness. Nothingness without end.